Hello children, in this video we are going to learn what are square numbers. We all know what is an area of a square, right? So here is a square where each side is 4 cm long. So what would be its area? We know if we divide this square into different smaller squares each of 1 cm by 1 cm then on this 4 cm there will be 4 such squares and same way on this side also there will be 4 such square rows so total would be 16 such squares right so the area of this square is 16 square centimeter so area of square we know the formula is side into side right so this is all we have learned in geometry in our previous videos, correct? So if a square is having a side of 1 cm, its area would be side into side, that is 1 into 1, that is 1 cm square. If it's 2 cm, it's going to be 2 into 2, that is 4 cm square. If the area of a square with side as 5 cm, the area would be 5 into 5, that is 25 cm square. Or to put it generically, if there is a square with n centimeter as the sides then its area would be n into n that's called as n square centimeter square right so 1 4 9 whatever we see here 1 4 9 16 25 we can keep extending this all these are known as square numbers that is it's a square of a number so how do we represent a square of a number when we say one square which really means one into one that is a number by itself one into one it's represented one and we write two in a very small top left corner in smaller size two square same way two square means two as a number multiplied by itself two into two so it becomes two and then we write a small two three square three as the number multiplied by itself three small two at the top of it so to represent any number square we just write that number like four and we write a two on top of it that is that two which is the 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 power is saying four multiplied by four makes sense so we represented the square of a number by putting a small two on the top right so now let's take some more example on the left side I have certain numbers 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and right side I have written it squares square means the same number multiplied by itself so 1 into 1 is 1 2 into 2 is 4 3 into 3 is 9 and so on 8 into 8 is 64 9 into 9 is 81 and 10 into 10 is 100 right so let's look at certain properties of these square numbers so here is a number and here are its squares so if you observe all these squares you will never find a square number ending with 2 or 3 or 7 or 8 in the ones place see this is having 1 this is having 4 9 6 5 again 6 9 4 1 or 0 you will not find the squares ending with 2 or 3 or 7 or 8 that is in one's place you won't find this in the square numbers you can keep on doing for any number you can take a big number also you will find other numbers but not 2 3 7 or 1 in the one's place so this is one important property of a square number if you are given some certain suddenly a number 162 you can say is it a square number that is is it a square of some number no because it's ending with 2 say I say 363 no it's ending with 3 so it cannot be a square number let's look at another property if a number ends with 1 or 9 in units place like here are, I have taken certain example number like 1, 9, 11, 19, 21, 29 I can go 31, 39 441, 449 if a number ends with 1 
or 9 in units place then its square always ends with 1 here you can see 11 into 11 is 121 19 into 19 is 361 so the squares are all ending with 1 so if the number ends with 1 or 9 its square ends with 1 why is it so we know just purely by the rules of multiplication say I take an example 19 into 19 so I write how do we do two digit multiplication we write 19 into 19 and then we do single digit at a time right so we do 9 into 9 81 then 9 into 1 is 9 plus 8 is 17 the next we leave it blank or we can put a x there or 0 then we do 1 into 9 9 1 into 1 1 then we sum it up so when we do the sum you see 1 plus 0 is 1 and rest you keep on doing so if any number is ending with 9's then 9 into 9 is always 81 it can be a very big number also 2 3 5 9 into 2 3 5 9 always 9 into 9 will be 81 and in the next step there will be zeros here so when you add them it will always be 1 exactly the same thing holds true for 1's so suppose the number was 21 into 21 1 into 1 will be 1 and that is the reason any number which is ending with 1 or 9 in their 1's place will always be having 1 in their squares place make sense let's take another property on similar lines if a number ends with 4 or 6 then its squares always ends with 6 as you can see here 26 into 26 is 676 24 into 24 is 576 and why is that again do a simple multiplication and you'll know why is it is that case let's take 24 into 24 just do a normal two digit multiplication how do you do just do the first step 4 into 4 is going to be 16 so 6 will come here and 1 will go in carry over and in the second step there won't be any number here it will be blank or 0 here so 6 plus 0 will be 6 so the ones place in this square number that is 24 into 24's product will always be 6 if I take a big number 32574 into 32574 in the ones place in the product will be a 6 because 4 into 4 is a 16 and 6 you write here and 1 goes somewhere in the top rest of the numbers can be anything but the property is saying if the number ends with 4 or 6 in the units place then its square will end with 6 in the units place make sense one more property if the number ends with 0 then its square will have double number of zeros what does it mean let's take an example 10 into 10 is 100 so it ends with 1 0 and in the square you see two zeros 30 30 square that is 30 into 30 is 900 so here there is 1 0 and here you see 2 0 90 into 90 1 0 here it is 8100 8100 is two zeros 900 900 into 900 is 8 lakh 10,000 that is here there are two zeros and here there are four zeros so if a number has certain number of zeros here say two zeros or say three zeros it's, it's 9,000 then its square will have double the number of zeros so if it has three zeros here it will become six zeros here and why is that same thing we do 90 into 90 in like a multiplication 0 multiplied by anything will be 0 so here it will be 0 in the ones place next digit also because there is 0 here 9 into 0 is 0 so in this case because there was 1 0 1 0 here basically this will be 0 and this will be 0 so the number was having 1 0 you will get two zeros in the product or its set square if there were 900 into 900 you will see four zeros or in other ways you can think 90 into 90 is nothing 90 you can represent as 9 into 10 this 90 also you can represent into 9 into 10 so it's 90 into 90 becomes 9 into 10 into 9 into 10 you 
can because of commutative property you can take these things together so it becomes 9 into 9 into 10 into 10 9 to 9 is 81 and 10 into 10 is 100 so the answer is 8100 so it's 10 into 10 became this these two zeros 9 into 9 became 81 so it is 8100 same way 900 into 900 that is 900 square is 9 into 100 this 900 9 into 100 this 900 so you can take these two nines together 9 into 9 and these two hundreds together so 9 into 9 is 81 100 into 100 two zeros two zeros becomes four zeros so the answer is 810000 right so square is a pretty simple concept a number multiplied by itself becomes the square of that number so that's all in this video children we'll learn more in the next video bye bye